Hello, you're listening to Abstract AF. I'm Sneha Jaswal, and I'm going to be reviewing the comic book series called She's Running on Fumes. This is a six part series created by Dennis Hopeless, Hilary Jenkins, and Hassan Otmane Elhaw. The story is set in the 1980s, and it starts off with Jeannie debating whether she should be leaving her husband Jody because he's always getting involved in petty crimes that causes a lot of trouble for her. But before she can make a decision, an accident changes their lives. Jody gets grievously injured in a car crash and loses not just his mind, but also four kilos of cocaine. So Jeannie is caught in a tight spot with a hefty debt owed to dangerous men. She can either run away with her kids or stick around and work her way out of the situation. So she's running on fumes, reads like an old school crime drama about a mom trapped in a bad situation involving a mountain of medical bills, missing drugs, intimidating goons and a good-for-nothing husband. The story is actually narrated by Janie's kid, who talks about how life got really bad for them after the car crash. When this comic book series started, it kind of reminded me of the Netflix series Griselda, which is about a mom running away with her husband's cocaine to start a new life. But Janie's plan to start over a new life with her kids are destroyed because of drugs she didn't even know existed. I wasn't a huge fan of the artwork in this comic. It's quite chaotic with lots of scratchy lines, which sort of complements Jeannie's train wreck of a life. So I'm sure some readers would enjoy it a lot more because it has this uh, gritty noir style to it. The artwork essentially feels like a mix of crayons, sketch pins and watercolors. And since it's a coloured comic book series, it's much more vivid than the average black and white comic books out there. Issues 2, 3, 4 essentially follow how Jeannie's in an ironical twist is sucked into a life of crime because now she has to steal cars and steal whatever she can to pay off her husband's debt. And at the same time, Jody, her husband, starts to recover and becomes a nonsensical nuisance once again, posing new troubles for his wife and kids. So oftentimes, She's Running on Fumes can be a frustrating read because you wonder why a smart woman like Jeannie is trapped in a bad marriage. But that's again another thing that the writer does eventually justify towards the end of the series, especially in issue 5 and 6, where we get to know that the couple had met each other when they were really young and Jeannie just didn't know any better. A lot of time, the storytelling fell flat, but essentially She's Running on Fumes is like a typical American crime story that focuses on a woman's struggle to hustle her way out of the quicksand of a criminal life. You know, through the issues, you meet a lot of dangerous men and women in the story, all of whom Jeannie is really scared of. But the biggest villain in her life is, of course, Jody. Like, even Jody's own kid, the narrator, wonders why their mother put up with all his crap. The last issue has Jeannie facing one catastrophe after the other. There are biker gangs after her, some mean drug bosses, and a woman who is blackmailing her for money. And somehow she manages to firefight all of it. The creators give us an almost too good to be true ending. But I kind of liked the last issue. That was my favorite. Until then, I didn't know where the story was going. So overall, I think it was a mildly entertaining comic book series. And I would rate it a 3 on 5. She's running on fumes is like a Bonnie and Clyde gone wrong. And if that sounds interesting, you should check out the series. The comic book series is also available to read on Kindle Unlimited. That's all from me. Talk to you the next time.